Hi again, this is Dan and today I'll be doing a tutorial on repairing and toolkits. As always, I'll also be telling you the most efficient way to use them. As you can see in the table in front of you, it lists the various items from the large toolkit, field cleaning kit and finally oil. It shows you how much each item costs, how many times it can be used, that being its charge rate, also how many skill points in mechanical is needed to use that item, and finally how many durability points it improves. Now, let's get started. As as you all know that there are three items for repairing. You have the toolkit, you have the field cleaning kit and you have the oil. In the beginning it's very important that you try not to use the toolkit as much. Use the oil and use the field cleaning kit. The toolkit you should only use when the item is in red, in the red zone. You see this item is in the green zone. Let's go to the sector inventory and you see this item is in the red zone, this item is in the red zone and this item. The toolkit increases a lot of durability or repairs a lot of durability of the weapon. It's a waste to use this item for a, an item for a weapon, I mean, that is in the yellow zone or that is still in the green zone. The oil can be used or is only used for items that are still in the green zone or that have very little damage or have been used very little. For example, the durability here is 88.2 out of 100. In this sense, I'm not sure. I think the durability is too high. Yes, as you can see, I can't even right click him if I even if I select it manually and I right click I can't do that. he says he can't do that so let's find an item from somebody else that has very little durability damage here 72.4 for 75 so technically he should be able to use the oil for this yes as you can see the repair item okay. came up it is key to catch off the items before they have more than 10 damage durability so you can use the oil if you don't finished. What then the now? second thing you should do is use the field cleaning kit for all the items in the yellow range. All the items that are in the yellow range, like for example here and here, you should only use the field cleaning kit for it. The field cleaning kit can repair items that are still in the yellow range. So let's repair this one. And they're asking about why. Well simple, again, don't use your toolkit. Use the toolkit to repair the items that are heavily damaged. Like that, your toolkit in the beginning will survive My longer. And when you finished. bump into what an item that now? is extremely damaged or in the red zone, you can't repair it with the field cleaning kit or the oil. So just use it for the red items or the red out, the, the most highly damaged items. So finally, now we pick up a red item or a highly damaged item and we equip it. And now we equip the toolkit and we use the toolkit to repair it. This, empty, damn it to hell. this is practically it for this tutorial. There's not really much. You just have to put into mind the toolkit in the beginning you shouldn't use for anything else unless the item is red. Always use the field cleaning kit and the oil instead and as much as possible. Try to catch them off in the beginning. Especially if you're lucky enough and you get an oil drop. Keep picking off the items because the oil has a lot of charges. You see, it's not there just for a by coincidence, it's there so it's been used. Use it a lot, and use it a lot for every single weapon that you can get, or that you have. You know, you, you just use it, you consume it, you finish it. After that, when the item drops into the yellow range, then you start using your field kits. You save your toolkits as much as possible. This is why, in this game, you notice that I have a lot. I have one here, I have one here, I have two here. You know, it's because I push, push all the field cleaning kits and the oil initially. So I don't use the other items as much as possible. And of course the cheaper. You know, if you order them from Bobby Ray's, obviously it's cheaper the field cleaning kit. Let's take a look at Bobby Ray's online shop equipment. You know, you get 500 for a toolkit. Field cleaning kit is 50. 50. 50 dollars. It's nothing. I don't really, you know, use oil a lot. To, to be honest, I practically never use it rarely because you can't really notice when it goes like below, especially on, on the main screen like here. I can't really notice when it drops just a little. But the field cleaning kit and the toolkit is key. Always use the field cleaning kit first. Save your toolkits for items that are in the red. And once you do that, you'll save up so much of these toolkits like here. And when you go into an area that has a huge drop count, you can repair all the items and sell them all off and make a lot of money. Now, as you noticed before, I yes. repaired the item that was in red with the toolkit. Now it's in yellow. I'm not going to use the toolkit again. I'm going to switch it to the field cleaning kit. I'm going to repair you. it with the field cleaning kit. And then I'm going to recheck the durability. If it's still not complete, I'm going to finish it off with the oil. 
Here we go. Let's take a look. Durability 40 from 40. So it's been completed. So now... I'm gonna just throw it back into the sector inventory. I'm gonna pick up another highly damaged item. Let's say this one. Again, it's in red. I'm gonna use the toolkit. Repair it with the toolkit. See to where it goes. If I'm lucky, it'll hit into the green area. If I'm not, it'll stay in the yellow. Oh, or nearly finished. Let's take a look. It's 36.8 from 40. In this case, I'm gonna use the oil and finish it off. Now, it's 40 from 40. Well, this is the right way to use all your repairs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, happy gaming and see you again next time.